It's been a crazy few days. I've been working on lesson plans for the dairy farmers of Ontario out in Toronto, and uh, it's, that's kept me uh, very, very busy. Um, but uh, I want to get back and do something in Blender, and what I have in mind is this uh, sci-fi bookcase. All right, I've done a couple of uh, bookshelves. Uh, these won't be the same, very simple, and I thought I'd just whip this off uh, for you if you're interested in something like that. All right, so here we go. Over in Blender, I'm going to select everything and delete it. And I'm going to look from the top. And I'm going to bring in a plane. I'm going to go into edit mode. And I want to be in a vertex selection mode, I guess. Let's turn on my move. Okay, I'm going to scale this in the Y. Like that. I'm going to bring it back like this. I'm going to select these two uh, points here. And I'm going to hit E to extrude. And I'm scaling the Y. I'm going to pull them out like that. Back at face selection, I want to select that face and delete uh, uh, only faces. And then I grab this edge and I'm going to hit uh, delete the uh, edge. And I guess I have to do it twice. Okay, number one again, vertex selection. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go shift control B to bevel. I'm going to pull back and I want three vertices right there. Three like that. Bang. Select it all. E to extrude. Bring it out in the X direction like that. I'm going to scale X zero. There we go. Pull it back a little bit. I'm going to shift alt and click that edge and that edge down here. Hit E to extrude. Scale this in the Y up like that. There we go. I might box select these and bring them back. Not quite so much. Okay, that kind of thing. I'm going to take this now. I'm going to rotate X 90 and stand it up. I might look from the front. Hmm, okay, that's the front. So let's rotate Z 90 as well. And that's at the back. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right. I'll pull this out. I think I'll pull it up as well. I'm just going to press G and bring it to around there. Okay. And then bring it back to around center. Okay, something like that. All right, my 3D cursor is right there in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and add a mirror. Let's see how it looks. Go back in and I'm bring it out further. I can scale this whole thing down. I'm going to take these points and these bottom points. And uh, I'm going to turn on clipping for my mirror. I'm going to hit E to extrude. I'm going to bring them over like that. So I'm going to select the whole thing. And what do I want to do? I'm going to scale this in the Z a bit like that. And I'm going to scale this in the Y a little bit like that. Okay, good. Edge selection, that edge and this edge here. Those two, control B. Nice and big bevel there with a lot of segments really round it off like that okay I'm gonna go ahead and yeah I'm gonna hit apply on the mirror and control 2 subdivision shade smooth okay so when that happens I'm going to select it and go alt n you calculate outside for my normal so I should be okay to go now I want to use solidify let's try solidify okay um, I think I'm actually gonna just actually extrude it. I'm gonna go E and Alt S and I'm gonna push and get a little thickness there. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna bring in an edge loop up to the towards the front and towards the back. We're gonna do an edge loop up here and down here, and we'll do some on the inside as well. Towards the back and towards the front. And I have this shape now. Okay. Hopefully that's rounded enough. Uh, okay, now let me have a look here. Might throw an edge loop in here. Sharpen that up a bit in there. And that's basically the shape that I'm going for. But I might want it a little narrower. Just like that. Okay, so. I'm going to come in. I want to make the other piece now. So I'm going to uh, shift alt and click at any edge that really goes all the way around. I got that one there. Um, I'm going to shift D and bring it out. And I'm going to go P and break it out. So I got that. Set the origin to geometry on that. I'm going to go in and one. I'm going to look at it. It's got a lot of extra vertices. So um, I'll clean this up a bit. I'm going to box select all these ones. None of the ones in the curb. X and dissolve those vertices. And this one, and this one, and same thing on this side. Yeah. There we go. Dissolve all those. Okay, so I've got that. Okay, so let's take this now, 
and I'm just gonna extrude it out backwards move the whole thing in now and we'll we'll shrink this down a bit but I don't want it to be somewhere in that area and probably I'll take this and bring it further and we'll give that a try so I'm gonna do the same thing I did before and turn uh, that off for the moment E and alt s I'm gonna pull there we go we got some thickness going on here like that that's gonna be fine something like that and uh, we can make it a little smaller now so that the other one shows through okay and put on smooth shading there or shade smooth and we'll throw some edge loops in here I'm gonna want to put some uh, a strip of of um, emission in here so I'll do that in here in a bit and that kind of thing and you know maybe I don't want it that thick the more I think about it so I'd switch over to face selection shift alt to click there I'm gonna come out a ways just to there I'm gonna go alt s again and I'm gonna push and then it's not quite as thick okay just like that that's fine maybe better like that okay I'm thinking about an edge loop here I don't know where do I want one just maybe there and that's good enough okay Okay, um, now, um, I think I'll put an edge loop there in control B and then to make a space and I'll roll my mouse back to zero. So I got that. Then I'm gonna hit E and Alt S and I am going to what, push or pull? I guess push to indent an edge loop over on this side and an edge loop over on this side. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, we'll put one on this side and this side. So we get a little bit of definition to that that's where I'm gonna put my light the 3d cursor is still right down at the bottom and so what I'll do is I'm just going to bring in a plane there to make the book shelf itself we'll scale this in the Y a bit and then we'll scale in the X until it comes out to there we'll have to scale it there like that now this will overlap the uh, the light area which uh, that's all right oh, I think um, okay then we're just gonna come up always like that we're gonna have a top on this let's go ahead and try uh, just a bevel I'll go for two and 0 0.02 let's see what that looks like okay and then what I'll do is I'll take this top face shift D bring it up and I'll break it up because there's gonna be like a separate piece on it set the origin of geometry on that let's uh, did I do that there we go I'm going to edit just of that I'm gonna bring it up not too too much for this one I'm gonna take the front uh, face I want it to overlap there so I'll bring it down and see what it would look like you know when it makes contact like that kind of thing not really worried about the back, but what I think is going to happen is I think I'm going to have the back extrude a little bit further than I want anyhow as well. Okay. And I think we'll make it just a little bit thicker. Something like that. And this one actually a little bit thicker as well down this way. Now, because this one's covering it, I really don't need, if I hide that, I guess this top face... I'm not going to be saving that much by doing all that, but we'll do that anyhow. And we should still be just fine. Let's make sure this one covers it. Um, this one, though, we're going to put uh, the lights in it. So really, uh, let's hide Let's hide that. Let's just uh, keep that. I really actually need a subdivision surface on this to make those holes work well. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to go Control 2 and uh, we're gonna put some edge loops on this thing we'll scale those in the X and then we'll come up and down and we'll come this way and we'll come this way they don't have to be super round this you know relatively nice piece of wood here uh, let's look right from the front and let's see how well this can go for us. Um, now, to do the light, um, I'm going to just go like that and let them land where they do. Take this piece here. 
ID inset, bring it in like that, and I'm just gonna come back. And then I'm gonna do two edge loops like that, scale them in the X. So I get this. And um, I think I'll also, let's try throwing an edge loop in here. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted to do. So maybe we will um, make this more a little bit more square of a light. Let's see, what did I do on this one? Yeah, it's relatively square. And let's say I wanted to do a little dot light. I'm going to bring in an edge loop here and here. I'm just going to mark off my area there. And I'm going to put an edge loop there and one there. Let's uh, grab these edge loops here and let's scale these in the X and make it more of a box right from the start. Okay, back to what we were doing. We'll do that. Hit I to inset, pull it in a bit, and I'll scale in the X now. That's fine like that. Oh, let's uh, focus in on that. I'm going to hit I to inset a little bit more, and uh, we're going to try that again. There we go. Okay, right inside, right inside there. I'm going to hit I to inset one more time. And I'm going to do the mean crease thing, select all that, shift E, I'm going to pull to turns pink. And then I'm going to select uh, all these faces. And I'm going to hit E to extrude, I'm going to pull it in. And I'll throw maybe an edge loop in here. If I can get it, there we go. We'll go something like that. We'll have a circle there. Now we can put an emission on. Hopefully that looks deep enough. And then, uh, yeah, maybe I want to do a bit more on that. Okay, so uh, face selection, I'm gonna grab all those. I'm just gonna pull them in for further and we'll find that edge loop that I put in there and uh, shift alt and click that edge loop if I can get it all. Come on, there we go. And let's just pull that down further. Uh, I might want one more. Okay, there we go, that's nice. Okay, let's uh, take this and cut it in half, put an edge loop right in the middle there, look from the top and in uh, wireframe and one and just uh, delete all that. Okay, and we can put on a mirror, a mirror modifier. I'll put clipping on, we'll bring it up to the top and go back and let's apply that, select it all, Alt M. Uh, merge uh, by distance didn't get rid of anything so everything's cool with that solid so I got that I'm on both sides let's go ahead and turn on the cavity shader to look a little bit nicer we can see what we're doing a bit better all right alt H bring everything back now this top um, uh, I may just go with that okay and that's uh, basically how that thing looks so take this, and well, I won't copy it yet. Okay, so it's not low poly, that's for sure. But uh, all right, let's uh, put some simple materials on this. Uh, I could probably do that right here, actually. Come over the materials, click New, Principled. I want my base color. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to want almost black one. And I'm going to just decrease the roughness to 0. Point, let's try 0. 0.35, and that's it. Uh, we'll come over here, and it's actually not going to be on that one. It's going to be on this one. I'm going to put that. Okay, this one, I'm going to click the plus. Uh, new. I'll get rid of this one on that. And it's going to be a, sort of a silvery. I'm just going to darken it up a little bit. And uh, let's go for... Um, Try 0 0.3 in the metallic. That might not be enough. And 0 0.35 in that. And I think I'm going to need more metallic. So we'll do this kind of thing. And uh, this one's also going to get that. And let's go ahead and uh, call this uh, metal. Okay. And uh, this one we're just going to call black. And the plan would be that that one would have the metal. And this one, no, that's a black, is that right? Yeah, it's black, believe it or not. Uh, that one's going to have the black. 
So it would look like that, but we'd also need, and this does look a little bit thin, so I think I'm gonna scale this in the z no, if I do that. Maybe I'll select the whole thing and just globally scale it. I'm gonna do that to make it a bit bigger. And then I'm going to, in wireframe, uh, I'll look from the top, I'm gonna box select uh, those ones and those ones. I'll look from the front again, and I'm gonna scale that in the X to bring it back in and see if it's making contact here. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, now I feel like I wanna make that bigger. Oh, I see I lengthened it as well. All right, well, we can fix that, can't we? Let's go back into this guy. And in wireframe, let's see what we got going on here. Let's just pull it under here. Okay, yeah, that's all right. And this piece, yeah, I still feel like uh, the need to uh, bring it up. Uh, it's just, you know, finessing type stuff. Um, also want to put an emission on this, so... Um, maybe we'll, uh, we'll go over to look dev now though and we'll bring in um, uh, point light here and I'll do the usual thing I'll make it make it orange um, 500 let's say and uh, I'll do another one actually shift D and G and bring it over here but we'll bring this one down. We'll try this blue. And let's switch over to scene lights and scene world. Uh, for my world, I'm going to actually use an HDR. Environment texture. Um, yeah, I get, there's a little bit more you gotta do. Well, we'll just do this anyhow. Uh, I'll try this one. You know, that kind of thing. Okay, this is looking a little bit too sharp for my liking. So I'm going to come back in here. Yeah, and I'm going to uh, dissolve that edge right there. And I think that's probably going to be it. Okay, so uh, let's come in here right, right away and put, let's select this and control plus, go out a bit more. Back to the materials. Hit the plus sign, click new. And I want emission. And I'm going to go for 2.5 and uh, assign. Let's go over here and for, I mean, EV, turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, oops, and uh, screen space. And under film, I'm going to switch this to 1.75. And just while I'm over here, let's switch this over to 200 for now, as I always say, and the size to 75. That's good enough for the moment. And we'll come in here, uh, this guy here. Uh, work on this, the holes first. Um, let's zoom in with the period key. All right, we can just do it this way. We'll select those, I'll go Control Plus. We'll see how much that gives us. Let's hit the plus, select the emission. I can call it emission. I spelled that right. Assign, does that come out too far? No, that's about right. Let's do the other one. Uh, there we go. Control plus, assign. No, I didn't get it. Sorry, assign that on that. Yep. And then this middle part here as well. So uh, I'm just going to kind of do it by hand I guess that's and then I may have to come out a bit let's try that I think I got it anyhow okay I'm gonna take this and this let's look from the front There, Shift D. You could instance this if you prefer. Yeah, like that. So now we can come back here and we can up the metallic if we like, maybe. 
Now, what I haven't done is I haven't done little dots there, but I'm not sure I really feel like doing those. All right, let's call this uh, bookcase video. So one thing I should point out, if you want to uh, do a render uh, in Eevee but not have your HDRI show in the background, uh, right now the way this is set up is I've got my HDRI image. I'll maximize that. Okay, I've got an HDRI image goes into background and world. That, that just goes in by default when I selected it. Um, and and the background will show. So if I render it, I'll, I'll see the HDRI. If you don't want it, you just make a setup like this. All right, I'll just click this together and I'll show you. All right, so I've got the same uh, HDRI image uh, into background here, into a mix shader, and I want my background to be black. You can put it to be any color you want. You have to bring in this light path uh, node. It's a shift A input light path. Okay, is camera way down to the fact and then to the uh, surface of the world output. All right, and then uh, now my HDRI image is black, but I'm still getting the light from it. Okay, and so um, that's basically uh, what I wanted to do right there. Uh, you can do more, you can add noise to your metal or make it look brushed, whatever, but I'm just gonna show you that. I brought in a camera, let's get the camera going there. All right, so if I just do a quick uh, render like this, and you can adjust your lights, it might be a little bit too bright, but that's that's what I wanted to show you, basically the modeling of, of that thing right there. Okay, cool, so thanks for watching.